Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another video by Dynaco 43 and today we will be taking a look at Milo from the 2010 Final Lap Collection. He was a single and a new release for that year. I do like his background as you can see some of the Piston Cup sponsors are on the building like you can see RPM right there. And on the back of the package, it has some other cars you can collect, like Skip Richter, Muddy Light and McQueen, Donna Pitts, Polly Puddle Jumper, Cassandra Della Corza, Nick Stickers, Jay Limo, and a couple of others. There's also a description for the final lap, and it reads, It's the final lap in a race to the finish. Collect 40, never produce 155 die cast vehicles with characters from the Cars movie. But don't speed by any classes you missed the first time around. Now I'll be right back with Milo out of his box. Here is Milo out of the package. He has a very nice car and I'm very glad to add him to my Disney Pixar Cards collection. And also, especially add him to my race fans collection, as he is a new race fan to add to my collection. He has a nice frightening expression, which does match the movie, because if you do not remember seeing him in the Cars movie, he appeared at the Los Angeles International Speedway when Light McQueen stopped right at the finish line, and they went to a couple of fans, and they were being shocked and confused of why McQueen stopped at the finish line when he has a chance to be the first rookie to ever win a Piston Cup in history. And Milo was in the front row. He... He technically was a background character, sort of, but even though he was in the first row and he looked confused and all and didn't have any speaking lines and it does match the film, so I do like that. That He has a nice grill on the front right there, as you can see. And now his model kind of reminds me of a pencil because I feel like the back to the width and once you get to the front, it gets thinner as, like, the pencil. So that's what I feel... I feel like he's in the shape of a pencil. I don't know why. I think that's just me. But he definitely isn't my favorite model. He's probably one of my least favorite car models. As it looks a little um, wacky, if you know what I'm trying to go here. But he has flat eyelids. Nice wide back. His license plate reads 331... I think it reads 36194. And on the top, I'm not sure what it says. It looks like it says axle bend or something like that. Oh, yeah, it does say axle bend. So that's pretty cool. On the side here, nothing too interesting. You just see some of his other um, lines right here. They're actually kind of rusted. As you can see, it has some rust on them. He has nice silver rims with a black base, if anyone's interested. Here's the base, it has some legal Mattel jargon, if whatever you like to call it. His silver bumper right here where his mouth is, you see his mouth and his teeth. And he was only released in the 2010 Final Lab Collection, hasn't gotten a release since then. And now I'm kind of surprised a little bit, but not that much. But I feel like he would have been a perfect re-release of a car to put in the 2016 LA Speedway series. But at least we got some re-release. Like we already and Corey and Wide Track, both released in 2010, have have gotten a re-release in the 2010 Final Lap Collection. Same with Patty, which was released in 2008 or 2009 in the Race Rama series. So that's pretty cool. And tell me in the comments section below if you think he'll ever get re-released. One day, I hope he does. It'll be great for newer collectors. And like I said before, I'm very glad to acquire this Mattel car to my collection. And I will display it with the rest of my race fans. So I'm very glad for that. Stay tuned for more reviews coming soon. And I'll see you guys by then. Signing off.